Hi, it's Juanita from InMotion Real Estate Institute. Today I want to show you how to import an Excel spreadsheet into your Outlook contact folder. Here's how. Okay, step one, you want to open Outlook 2007. You want to go to Contacts, and under Contacts you want to create a new folder, like a new distribution list. For my case, I'm going to name this after the subdivision where I'll be teaching a class. In fact, I'll even name it after the class that I'm teaching. And I'll say OK. Next, go to Excel. And you want your Excel spreadsheet to look the way you need it to look to match up with the Outlook contact records. So I've got a couple of things that I want to change, just tweak a little bit. And that is, first of all, I want to make sure that my first name and last name are in two separate columns. You'll see why a little bit later on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another column for my last name. Just insert a column there. And that particular column is what I want to break up. So under the Data tab, I'm going to go to Text to Columns. Give that a click. And I just want, I've already got delimited with commas, so I'll make sure commas checked, and that's what I want to do. Yes, I want to replace the contents of the destination cells so that they're in two separate columns. Perfect. Now I want to create last name. Now your spreadsheet may already be the way you want it, but it's important that you get it kind of the way it, it, it looks to you, the way that it should be, because everything is going to go over to Outlook the way you set it up now. All right, so that looks good. Let's see how many names we've got on here. Okay, so let's select this, all the names. In this case, I'll select all the names on the sheet as well as the top row, which includes the column headers. Now, what's very important, this next step I'm about to do, if you don't do it, it will not work. You want to give this a range. Just name it. Name it anything, but remember the, the name that you called it. In my case, Monticello P is the name of the range that I want to import into Outlook. Hit enter behind naming it, and now that range has a name. The next thing to do is save your spreadsheet. So let me make sure you know we need to save it as a an Excel 97 through 2003 version workbook. The reason is because Outlook 2007 does not yet recognize an Excel 2007 workbook. That's why we're going to do it as this version. So go ahead, save it. Remember where you're saving it. So in my case, I'm going to save it on the desktop so it'll be easy for us to find. Don't forget the name and where you have found, where you can find the file. Now, the next step is also important. Close up the workbook. Now go to Outlook, select the folder that you just named. Now, the next thing you can see, it's empty, but it's not going to be empty long. We're going to go to our file, and we're going to go to Import and Export. So it says choose an action to perform. We want to import from another program a file. Select the file type to import. The one that we want to select is the Microsoft Excel 97 through 2003 version. We're going to browse for this file. And if you remember, where did we put it? On the desktop, so we could find it. And there it is. Say OK. Now, we have the file. Typically, you do not import duplicate items. Say Next. Okay, now it wants us to select a destination folder, and by default it finds the folder we just recently named, and that's exactly where we want all these contact records to go. Say Next. And you can see here it says the following actions will be performed. It's already found our range, Monticello P. That's what we want imported into this folder. So now, the next step, we want to map custom fields. So we want to map what's on our Excel spreadsheet to our contact 
record in Outlook. So I'm going to hit the plus sign here. So I'm going to take the last name, and you can see why I wanted it to be nice and clean. The last name that is on my Excel spreadsheet, map it to the last name in the Excel contact record. And likewise for the first name. There is a company name. Let's find that. Yes, there we go. We called it real estate company. Move that to company. And then we're going to do a phone number. Let's go ahead and map that as well. Mobile phone. Let's go ahead and map that to mobile phone number. You could do other phone, you just your decision or business phone. It could have been mapped there. All right, so there we go. If you ever want to clear your map and start over, just hit clear map. And so now we're good to go. We can say okay and finish. Might take a few seconds depending on how your list, how big your list is. There we have it. I hope this tip helps.